Happy Groundhog Day! Of course, this is a uniquely American holiday celebrated on February 2nd of every year. Pretty interesting how it started, too, because we did see its origins in German and European folklore. Pretty impressive stuff here. And it was first document documented in the United States in the state of Pennsylvania in 1841. And rightfully so, well, it's celebrated. It's been celebrated in Punxsutawney for 131 years. And of course, as the old tale goes, Punxsutawney Phil, the groundhog there, our favorite groundhog, if it's cloudy out there, he will not see his shadow. That means spring will arrive early. However, if it's clear, if it's sunny, and Punxsutawney Phil sees his shadow, that indicates six more weeks of winter. Well, drum roll please, we all want to know what happened for 2017. Did he see his shadow? Did he not see his shadow? Well, he did. And for you winter lovers, that means six more weeks of some chilly and snowy weather. Of course, this is just kind of a fun little prediction. The interesting note about today, it was actually cloudy with a few snow flurries when Punxsutawney Phil saw his shadow. I don't know how he did it, but somehow he did it. Hey, as we take a look at the long-term forecast here, courtesy of the Climate Prediction Center, it's looking like much of the western U.S. and southern U.S. will be above average heading into next week. A little colder than average up towards the northeast and Great Lakes. Drier than average for much of the southwest and perhaps a bit wetter than average for next week heading into the northern and eastern United States. Now, as we look at the long-range forecast for the entire month of February, March, and April, there's a good chance that that whole swath of the southern United States and East Coast could see above average conditions. And especially into parts of Texas and the Southwest, we could see those temperatures above normal. Perhaps a little cooler than normal from the upper Midwest around Minnesota back into Washington State. That's where it could be a little bit more uh, rainier or snowier than normal for the next three months, including parts of the Great Lakes with that above average precipitation forecast. However, bad news for the Southeast as we are still dealing with some drought concern, uh, concerns it looks like February, March, and April will be below average. At least we've got a good chance of that anyway, uh, according to the Climate Prediction Center. Pretty interesting stuff here on this Groundhog Day.